Palm Springs, I'm not a huge fan of just because it feels like the Cheesecake Factory of deserts. That's true. You know? Yeah, that's that's true. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the gays. <laughs> and it's full of gay guys. Uh, but, but gay guys who, like, like to eat at Chili's. Like, it's a weird gay guy who lives in Palm Springs. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Did you see they erected a big AIDS statue in uh, in, in uh, Palm Springs? Really? Is it? Is they erected a, a big statue that looks like a huge asshole. And mm. it's uh, it's... It it's, like raises awareness for having AIDS. Right. Mm. It raises awareness for how gross it is to get AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, this is what you did to yourself. Yeah, it's a it's a public reminder. Yeah. The statue's called the monkey's asshole. It's rare it's a really skinny statue. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a huge asshole. Have you actually seen the, the AIDS statue? I think back, yeah, I think... I think I, think they I remember to, you tweeting it out or something. I think they had to take it down because everyone was trying to have sex with it. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a, it was like a, a public health hazard. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I'll leave that up. Gay guys were trying to fuck... They weren't trying to fuck the hole. They were trying to get fucked by the statue. <laughs> They're grinding their open asshole against it. Like how cats will scratch themselves. <laughs> Ben, can you turn my headphones up? I can't really hear myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, no, that's a fucking, that's an asshole. Yeah. That's a prolapse asshole. That looks like the sandworm in Dune. <laughs> that's literally it. It's yeah. A big... Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's the gay guys. The guys in Palm Springs are so gay, they can travel through the sand by swallowing it with their <laughs> ass and then spitting it out their mouth. Yeah, that's Bob Hope's asshole. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man, that sucks ass. Yeah. Pretty cool. Every statue, they, they, they're just terrible at making statues for some reason. What was the one they made? It was like a Martin Luther King statue, and it was like a, yeah. a hand grabbing a chick's ass or something like that. I don't know. All I know is they should, they really need to like perfect the black people statues. Yeah. Because they start looking, they, they re- very quickly turn into like racism. Yeah. It looks like we're making fun of somebody. There's the MLK one in DC they made that looks like Goku for some reason. He's got like a karate stance. Yeah. yeah. They got worse at statues. Yeah. Kobe's statue kind of sucks ass. Yeah. Every every sports star's statue looks like they have Down syndrome. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the Kobe statue looks like they made it out of him after he died. Yeah. It looks, it like looks they, bad. They pieced it. Yeah. They pulled his parts together and molded it. Ben has the vape. They have a big uh, statue of Stalin in uh, Georgia that they're really proud of. The vape's great, man. Yeah. No, Wait, in like Athens, Georgia, they have a Stalin? In Atlanta, Georgia. Really? No, Georgia, the country. Mm. Of Stalin. Of Stalin, because that's where Stalin's from. Is he just killing? He's like, he, like, it's, you know, when like, a, like someone makes it out of the hood. Yeah. yeah. Or whatever. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah. they're like, holy shit, like Tyler Perry, you know, you made it out of the hood or whatever. Stalin did that? He did that and in Georgia and then became like the, yeah. apparently he was a, uh, like he became like the dictator of like Russia or something. I didn't really understand history, but apparently he did. Like he, <laughs> apparently he like became Hitler. Yeah. But still, it's all Georgia has. Right. Yeah. So they they have statues of him everywhere. Apparently, he was like it's crabs in a bucket out here in Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> it's crabs in a bucket. Yeah, Stalin's like I will kill ninety million people, but shout out ATL. My friends thought I sold out when I started murdering farmers. Yeah. I think the South's got something to say, and that's that we should kill people through famine. It, it's it's like area code, like they're like eight one eight. Yeah, it's yeah. the same shit there, but with like yeah, yeah. they don't give a shit. Being a way- fan of an area code is the most retarded thing you can be as an adult. It's very honestly sad. a fan of a, three numbers. Yeah, if I was if I was like shout out three two five. Abilene, Texas. Yeah. I like I'm, I'm like shouting out the the number the government assigned me. <laughs> yeah. Based on where I came out of a pussy. Yelling out your barcode as a robot. <laughs> I found out pretty quickly if you type in your area code into YouTube mm-hmm. and then the word rap or hip hop. Okay. You realize that there's dudes that are really proud of their block in that area. There's hundreds of these guys mm-hmm. and they all have music videos that they post on Facebook and YouTube that have like 300 views Mm -hmm. and they're acting like so hard, so hard. And it has like maybe 16 views. Yeah. Rapping about their 
can I play some from Abilene, Texas? Yeah, of course. Or will like sure. they come kill us or something? They can't get here. They don't have enough money to get here. <laughs> they can't afford the Spirit yeah. Airlines flight. Yeah, they're like, when 80 days from now, when I've hitchhiked out there, your fucking ass is grass. I'll type in Abilene, Texas rap. I'll show you. Yeah. There's this one guy that's like, uh, oh, let me get off of this John Ford movie Track here. Mob Presents. Abilene, Abilene, Texas, Texas Cipher. Cipher. Yeah, that was yeah. that was one. The of Abilene, Texas good. Cipher is, is an appetizer course you can get at TGI Fridays. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this was one I really like. This guy's name is Dice. Okay, yeah, let me plug this in. Ooh. He's he's named after how high you can count, the twelve. <laughs> Ooh, I'm getting a little bit of a uh, yeah, a little static. feedback. Ooh, Daddy, like that. Let's turn that down. <laughs> there we go. Very very good. Very good. All right, here's Dice with Get That, official music video. Crooked Activity presents. I love how they all have an LLC that doesn't exist. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if people can, uh, can people see the TV or is my fucking head in the way? I think it's fine. I guess we'll get like a switch. We can barely see. I mean, this was filmed on a cell phone. They yeah. sneaked in their ass. It's so present. grainy. This was filmed on a side <laughs> He goes, yo, what's up? Your life suck? <laughs> My life sucks, too. All our lives suck. <laughs> hey, we got no hope. <laughs> Shout out, no chance at peace. <laughs> and then they're flipping off the camera. Yeah. It is funny, because they could basically be like Ralph Stanley in the mountains of like West Virginia. <laughs> Just forgotten by the government. Yeah. But they're wiggers. Yeah. <laughs> I think these guys are cholos that like love to go to H E B. Yeah. Like, I think shout out H E B. They're so retarded they think they're wiggers. <laughs> even though they're cholos. They're like, hey fool, I love being white. Yo, the Conoco was closed today. The Conoco was closed today. <laughs> they don't have any vegetables at the dollar store. How my family supposed to eat when the Conoco closed today? Conoco closed today. <laughs> my daughter doesn't have the top of a skull. She was born without it because of the DuPont plan. <laughs> Dude, what if these guys find me and kill my whole family? <laughs> They, like, <laughs> they, like, they, they execute yeah. me they, gang style in my house. They roll up on you with rubber band guns <laughs> because they have nine dollars. <laughs> They're like, we're gonna give you a fucking fucking Indian burn, fucker. And by the way, everybody watching on YouTube, uh, we also can't see the video. It's yeah. so grainy. It's very blue. I just mm. see them in a Coupe Deville, but I'm sure if, right. if the camera pans out, it's being pulled by a mule. <laughs> This is literally a, a, a camera phone they give to poor people specifically. <laughs> they, they film this we on an Obama phone. Yeah, you can't buy it unless you have a chin strap uh, beard. You can't get it. They'll take you into a back room. There's some money to be found. I'm stacking quarters, nickels, y'all. Man. Y'all like my shit. I see big baby, man. I like my shit. They're making it rain with craft singles. <laughs> I love that they're like Hickory Street, shout out 325, where it's like they're like, they're literally on top of a big hill yeah. of actual shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they're like, represent, yeah. plant the flag. Nobody's going to yeah. take this pile of shit from us. They're like, nobody <laughs> wants it. It's my favorite part about yeah. hip hop is, is having to brag about the piece of shit place you're from. Yeah. My favorite part, part about hip hop is having to explain where you're from mm. is yeah. before you rap it. Yeah. Yeah. You're like Hickory Street across from Magnolia Boulevard <laughs> on the western part of like southeastern Houston. <laughs> yeah, God, that sucks ass, man. Track Mob presents Sacrifice Zone. The water's black. Yeah, God, that sucks. Abilene, the 325 boss, freestyle in the hood, Cypher. He misspelled Cypher, These by are the, the way. guys that, like, every, every like, five months <laughs> on Facebook, they post, like, just killed my baby mama today. She was a bitch, man. Right, yeah, they're like, damn, going to prison again. Damn. Their Facebook is literally them being like, got out of prison, damn, going back to prison. <laughs> 
Dude, I used to live by this 7-Eleven. That's the one across the train tracks west of Abilene Christian Dude, that, right there. That 7-Eleven should have had a trap door in it to kill people. <laughs> that 7-Eleven was the... That 7-Eleven like made Abilene, Texas look bad somehow. It was like a knockoff 7-Eleven. <laughs> well, Jace... Li- uh, Dude, it literally looks like a fake set from a movie about a shitty town. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Jace, but this is... This is Abilene, the three two five boss. Yeah, this is Man- this- Manchester by the P. This yeah. fucking sucks. <laughs> also, I love he misspelled cipher. He spelled it with an F instead of like a fucking. Yeah, it says cipher. It says cipher. It says in the hood cipher. We can't afford ciphers. We do cipher's. Maybe on his keyboard, it's missing the uh, P. Yeah. So he, he just has to like work around. He it. raps. He can't speak because he's born without vocal cords, <laughs> because he lives inside yeah. of a telephone pole. So he has to rap with a speak and spell. <laughs> he's a woodpecker. Yeah, he's a woodpecker. He's like, I fucking like, I drill holes in this shit, dog. <laughs> he's a, and he a, has to he has to rap with a speak and spell that he pushes out buttons on. These are the towns where nobody they, they're so racist. There is no clerk at the Seven Eleven. Yeah, like we're still waiting for a Muslim to come into town. <laughs> <laughs> they they have to go to the library to Google black people to get angry at. <laughs> That's how few minorities exist. Yo, a- Arabs wanted. If you know an Arab, you got a job right here. Until then, the 7-Eleven will be closed. Yeah. <laughs> it- <laughs> we just, so what we do is we, we take turns robbing the 7-Eleven for food. <laughs> Our economy is based on stealing. I forget the guy I knew here, but he was like a classic Comic-Con, like Star Trek guy who just didn't care about anything. Mm -hmm. And he smelled so bad. And I would buy from him. And routinely I would be in there and black dudes would walk to the back and grab a 30 rack of beer and then walk out, look him in the eye and then go out the door. Right. And he would do, I'd be like, you're not going to do anything about that. He goes, no, if it's not over $500, the police don't do anything anyway. So they just, I go, they just do this every night. He's like, yeah, pretty much. There's nothing I can really do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They just kind of help themselves. That's what I love. Being he, he just would shrug and then check yeah. me out. Being, being in such a shitty part of town that people steal like it's the milkman. <laughs> where they go, howdy, neighbor. <laughs> just here to steal my 30 rack today. <laughs> Hi, Clarence. How's the wife and missus? It's like Mayberry. It's so funny to calm. It's not even stealing at that point. You're calmly walking out. It's borrowing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's the whole yeah, it's town a, is a barter system. Put it on my tab. <laughs> This is a 325 yeah. boss. Yeah. This place is so shitty, people get the death penalty for loitering. Oh, Jace, this is actually that Easy Mart on the west side of town. It looked like the 7-Eleven because of Chifer. the uh, saturation. Chifer in the hood. This is that good shit. This is this is the type of, of, of 7-Eleven in, tar- in the shittiest place in America. <laughs> Where they're waiting in line and they they see like a two like a two DVDs in one thing and they go what the man, rush hour I've never heard of rush hour <laughs> they watch rush hour for the yeah. first time yeah they, while they, getting an old English no, they, they see the DVD and they go they go they got they made a rush hour one they only know about rush hour three. <laughs> They don't know it's a sequel. They think it's called Rush Hour 3. Where there's a guy in line like, I'll take a Twix. And what the fuck is Shrek? <laughs> uh, give me that. Wait. Give they me ma- that. They go, give me that CD. <laughs> they think it's a, C- a DVD. Give, it's- me, give me that CD based on the musical I saw. <laughs> All right, here's, here's just goddamn freestyle in mm-hmm. the hood. Part the whole town here, my beat. Twenty threes on my feet, ready for a sweep. Yeah. Beat. Pass some lucky ass. By the way, if, if we walked past this guy on the street in Abilene, Texas, our dad would make us cross the street. Mm-hmm. He'd be so scared. <laughs> so that's him just rapping into a camcorder. I want to see what he does in front of his uh, mm-hmm. his actually his car that really kicks ass and is really cool. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of things he's not taking care of to have that car. And he's got the thirty two ounce Budweiser. I respect that. Mm-hmm. Too ready. I don't you even really know if they sell those anymore. The 32 ounce bud. He pours it into that. It is so funny in these towns where they, they have to represent an air er, uh, like an area that fucking hates them. It's super <laughs> racist. They're like three, two, five. The clan is out here every fucking night. They want to kill me and my whole family and shit. We ain't ever gonna leave. Three, two, five for life. Shout out Grand Wizard Phillips mm-hmm. holding it down. My grandma's hanging from a tree right now in Town Square. They're basically in like. <laughs> Yeah, I got a chain, and they're holding up a noose. (laughs) (laughs) They're basically in Killers of the Flower Moon, but they have to be like proud of it. But they have to be proud of it. Yeah, Yeah, they killed all my extended family members. All five of them dead. Yeah, family name gone. (laughs) My sister' head exploded in a creek somewhere. (laughs) 
I'll kill myself if I have to move. I would never move to any place that likes me. I don't know that other places exist. I have Stockholm Syndrome. Racist Stockholm Syndrome. I'm wearing 3D glasses I stole from Walmart. <laughs> Abilene! Yeah, I think that guy just raps into the camera, which... Uh, yeah. 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 It's hard to listen to. That guy's to. been saving up for an 808 for 14 years now. You could type in any town, though. So, like, do, like, a different one besides Abilene. You just type, uh, in, type in fucking... Um, Scottsdale? Like, Odessa, Texas. Yeah, type rap. in Odessa. Yeah, Odessa is a really fucking bleak. See if it comes up. Kid Dynamite. Uh, this, Damn, he's kind of killing it. Yeah, this guy's killing it. 141,000. Good for Kid Dynamite. Yeah, good for Kid Dynamite. 95? Good. Yeah, mm-hmm. we, will, we will not be watching Kid Dynamite. Wow. No, I'm looking for some sub 2,000 views. Yeah, right this now. is like straight out of the brain of Anthony Camilla, that video right there. <laughs> On the block, kill a capo. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, yeah there's, there's some good. I mean, uh, I think go, go to the West mostly, Texas Cipher. Yeah. What is a West, West Texas Cipher? So maybe they all battle each other. Yeah. And they're all. It's a Mexican standoff. <laughs> they're all big cowboy hats. <laughs> we they all, go. Well, this ghetto ain't big enough for the both of us. <laughs> Everyone looking at you. We all used to be running backs. Yeah. <laughs> and now we're here. Shout out Booby Miles. <laughs> so they're doing the classic thing where they're all like um, in a parking lot of some kind or like a skate park. And mm-hmm. there's just there's a drone going over them. Mm-hmm. It's, the, it's this cla- is, I've seen this many yeah. times. This is not a parking lot. This is where their house used to be before it was leveled <laughs> while they were inside of it. And they Trump, start filming. 2017. Yeah. Did you say Trump 2017? Uh, no, I think it's yeah, in 2017. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's the only way it has to be. Imagine it is mad that half of what he said in his raps to me. He'd have been knocked off out of coward of a man on hands and knees, but that would never happen because this faggot only raps what he said. Woo! Yes! Woo! Okay, yeah. not he's gonna like, make fun he's of He's like, him. shout out Lemon Party for bringing it back. <laughs> <laughs> they they brought the it back out for the F word and the R word. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody was saying the R word in 2023. <laughs> Oh uh, fuck! It, it does, I am happy we were saying R and F before it was cool to say R and F. Yeah, we stuck our necks out for those two words. Yeah, and now everybody on Twitter, you go viral if you stand up for it that wasn't word. Wasn't conscious though, like like. Mm-mm. But no, we just never stopped saying. I it. just it, it, listen, listen. Retard is the white man's N word. It is true. Yeah, and faggot, mm-hmm. and the N word, and the N word. It's right. our uh, it's the white man's. <laughs> The white man's N-word's the N-word. Yeah, it's, it's the hard R. That's what I call it. <laughs> it's our second amendment. We're not giving it up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's the right to bear arms. I'm going to say F, and right I'm going to gonna say R. Right to bear mm-hmm. tards. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And in private, I'm going to say some other things I'm not going to, but I'm not going to let you know what they are. <laughs> yeah, in private, we just kind of talk about, like, we make fun of pronouns. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we, we go, my pronouns. In private, we just go, like, man, my pronouns would be, like, fucking, like, fucking hee-haw. Dude, that's so fucking kick ass. <laughs> I love pronouns jokes. My pronouns would be like real N word. Yeah. I'm gonna do like an Esposito uh rape special, but it's a it's a about it's all it's an hour of pronoun jokes. How did Cameron Esposito get raised? Did she listen to her own comedy? <laughs> <laughs> she meets her herself. Did she meet to herself with her mm-hmm. jokes. Yeah, she raped herself with her hair. I'm, I I kinda miss that era. Cameron I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. Honestly, we saw you shared that video of uh, what's that fucking retarded comic who did the my pronouns are. Well, Jace, you don't call retarded people retarded. Oh yeah, sorry. No, he there's a comic who actually has Down syndrome. <laughs> he has Down syndrome. And he dressed like a Mexican wigger, <laughs> and you sent me a joke of his where he goes, "My pronouns are uh, what was it? Um, uh, real, yeah. real N word. Real, real N word. Yeah, but he said the N word, and people are like, woo. I was yeah. just like, I was like, God. His pronouns are real N word. Yeah. In yeah. a weird way, it was, but he said it. It was more offensive to do a joke about pronouns than mm-hmm. say the N word. Yeah. Yeah. If you do a joke about pronouns in a stand up special, I feel like you should immediately have to go back to your office and yell at your secretary. At your office, you have in a strip mall in the Santa Clarita Valley. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 That was, a, that was an interesting one. Poor guy. It's really going viral. A lot of people hate it. Yeah. You know. It's, it's funny to go viral saying the N-word and bombing. <laughs> Both things. Yeah. The third thing is like you shit your pants. Yeah. I don't know how many more things you can have that embarrassing. 
My my favorite is when we we know comics who have who have made clips. They've cut clips from their standups where they're bombing in the clip. Mm-hmm. But Which, they don't know they're bombing. Yeah, but you know, it's like it's literally like they've been at five hours in front of Premiere Pro just listening to like wind blow past the microphone while they tell their mm-hmm. jokes. Yeah, it's really weird that like that clip that like that guy like had that made. Yeah. Like there was a process. Like he, he sent had, it to a clips guy. He had like a day to think about it. Right. Yeah, and it went out. But you know, what do you gonna do? Yeah, I mean, you get who gives a shit. I just can comics go back to like being funny, doing stuff like, uh, like crashing frat parties after the shows. <laughs> Remember when comics were funny and they would yeah. they would be really cool guys who mm-hmm. drank a lot and crashed frat parties, even though they're fifty one yeah. years old. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Remember when like Cosby and like Carlin? Remember when? Remember that great bit Carlin would do where he get on stage and he drink um, uh, Miller Lite out of a shoe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, remember yeah. that classic bit my that favorite, we all love. My favorite Louis bit was when he took his shirt off and complained that his wife sucks, <laughs> even though he's a piece of shit. I loved that Louis bit. I love that Louis bit where he was dying of alcoholism for 25 years. <laughs> By the way, you're actually not that fat and disgusting if you can take your shirt off and make an act out of it. That's like, true. Like, Louis takes his shirt off. It's probably really gross. Right. Mm-hmm. That, dude, it would be funny if somebody started stealing from Bert, but he was really fat and he, like, became mega. He stole, like, all of Bert's money. Yeah. He became mega famous. I don't like curated fat. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Because he's be a, so fat, it's like you're afraid to take the shirt off. It's, what it's like an ironic mustache. It's an, yeah, exactly. But it's his beer, it's his ironic beer gut. Yeah. 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 It's a it's a Jack Blacky kind of beer gut kind of. Yeah. That being said, I think it's really cool <laughs> to like drink with like teenagers after a show. I think that's sick. Yeah. No, Bert tweeted Bert tweeted something where he's like, Hey, I'm at Penn State. I'm gonna should we go to a frat party after the show? And somebody quote tweeted, no. And it got like 80,000 likes. It's like, wasn't it like you're 51? You're 51, old. yeah. You yeah. got like 80,000 likes. Yeah. Well, he's a, you know, he's a, he's a, he's like a retard vulture. Yeah. You know, he's not like culture vulture. Mm-hmm. He's like a retard vulture. What are you doing, man? What's going on with you? You, you, you keep sounding lower. I know. I, don't know I sound what's going weird. On. I don't. I don't sound right in my headphones. Turn You're not me. drunk enough. Turn my headphones. I off. turned you up, but I don't. I don't know what's going on. Yo, this is the West Texas Cipher Midessa edition. Yeah, I mean, you're all the same. I don't know. I think I you're think just, it's fine. I think it just. I think you good. just suck. I think my. I just suck. Why I suck think you're off the show. <laughs> That's fine with me. I'm sick of you anyway. <laughs> Devin, you're fired. I'm really sick of you. You're already going down a weird path with the vape. Mm-hmm. You have a vape necklace. Like you work at GameStop. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> you guys jelly of my new bling. <laughs> <laughs> you should become the producer for the mid Dessa West Texas Cypher group. I could see myself getting that that Furby necklace from Uncut Gems, but turning it into a vape. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Spending like thirty thousand right. dollars to suck uh, like cotton candy right. clowns out of a Furby's ass. Walk walking outside and immediately getting choked to death by a black guy with it. <laughs> Just cutting off your fucking veins. To it your would head. be really funny if you're killed by a black guy. <laughs> you kind of deserve it. I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hope when you were in New York, well, you get knocked well, here's the fuck the thing. out. I not only that's the first non-Chinese person to get knocked yeah. out. Again. <laughs> you know, it's funny is I would deserve it, and then it would justify everything I've ever said. Yeah. Mm-hmm. At the same time, but here's the thing: you wouldn't get like knocked out by like a cool, like just schizophrenic <laughs> black guy. You get knocked out by like a black guy dressed like Batman, like the guy that like tried to shoot up the subway. <laughs> You get knocked up. You get knocked up by the guy who sang "Rock and Roll McDonald's." Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah you get knocked up by a black guy in like a Charizard outfit. Right. You get knocked up by a black guy who gets bullied at public school. <laughs> you think I could become like the white George Floyd if a black guy killed me? Mm. Like, especially if like but a I black think, cop shot me I or think, something. I think in the way that you would bring the whole country together, because they'd be like, "That guy sucks." We're yeah, glad that black guy kneeled on his neck. And then it would heal this country a little bit. No, I, I'm like, I'm getting kneeled on by a black cop. I'm like, <laughs> I, I'm like, I can't breathe. And he's like, exhale the vape cloud. I'm like, I'm like, yeah. I refuse to exhale. Yeah. You're getting kneeled on by Cal, Colin Kaepernick. I, I can't blow smoke ring. You are really, you're, it's crazy. There's no nicotine in that and you're addicted. There's like a big trial where they prove I have popcorn lung from vaping. <laughs> Yeah, they just go, Your Honor, my, my client is requested to do a freestyle about racism in the courtroom. 
<laughs> and you just know beats start like trying to like lay down bars. You accidentally say the N word and everybody. Imagine, up. imagine the lawyer representing my. I'm deceased, but sure. they're representing my family, and they hold up the the. Uh, the Furby vape <laughs> that I wear as a big bling necklace. And they're like, this vape here was a classic sub ohm vape. It was only turned up to 8.5 <laughs> mags. It wasn't even that strong. The defendant claims, the defendant claims that he couldn't chuck clouds that big at 8.5. And they bring up a, like an autistic incel like Mona Lisa Vito. She goes, that was obviously a 1998 vape. That was a copper coil. Because a copper coil could not produce a smoke cloud like that. As everyone knows. She has huge tits. Huge fake tits. Yeah. You know whose tits I think about all the time? Who? Yeah. Is uh, Jennifer Tilly's in Liar Liar and the lady on the elevator in Liar Liar too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. great tits in Liar Liar. Yeah, yeah. Amazing tits, amazing it's tits, crazy yeah, how Jennifer, good they are. Yeah. I still think about them to this day. It's yeah. been uh, twenty years. You know what's funny yeah. is I'm not getting two weeks ago. I was just driving my car. I go, man, that lady had big tits. Jennifer Tilly, Jennifer Tilly, and the lady in the elevator. Yeah, the lady in the elevator too. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't know who the fuck she is. We but really, her tits were great. We have such a great spectrum of thoughts as we drive around. <laughs> it's like, man, that lady had great tits, or it's like Jason Sudeikis sucks ass. Hey. I want to kill yeah. Jason Sudeikis hey. no. <laughs> <laughs> for no reason. It's no, like, you have a reason. You just drive around. And you're like, God, I love tits. Yeah, <laughs> and I want to kill Jason Sudeikis. I, I was literally driving. <laughs> <laughs> I was literally driving downtown two weeks ago, and I was I was doing an argument in my head from nine years ago. I lost. I was redoing it, yeah. and then ten minutes later, I was thinking about. I was literally going like, "Now, which celebrity would I titty fuck if I could choose any celebrity?" <laughs> oh, you. And I'm like, why do I have an opinion on anything why, at all? Why are these the thoughts? Yeah, yeah. You should have a hall pass for uh, body parts. You what have you a mean? hall pass to fuck someone in the ass, a hall pass for pussy, hall pass for titty fucking, hall pass for blowjob. Mm -hmm. You get the because that way you get to spread a little bit bigger net. Yeah, I'm yeah. the guy who has a. I, I tell all my friends I have a hall pass, but I'm just secretly cheating on my girlfriend. Yeah, I yeah. Dri I drive around sometimes and I'll like I'll just be like Miles Teller's a fucking <laughs> asshole. <laughs> I don't know why. I think he's a good actor, but I'm just like he's a fucking. Well, asshole. Well, supposedly he like got in a wreck and sued that guy. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. What guy? I guess I he yeah, got in a wreck and he got a scar from it, and then he sued this guy that hit him mm. uh, for like millions and millions of dollars in damages. And have, and now that Miles Teller's famous and like really rich, like he doesn't need the money. He's like still suing. He's him? still suing the guy and trying <laughs> to like take him for everything he's worth. And all he has is like one like little scar, which is here, like which makes him look made, cool. It made him. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The scar. Yeah. But Miles Teller apparently he's still suing the guy for and ruining his life. Yeah. It was like a wreck from eight years ago. I think I, I like the commitment. <laughs> yeah, I do respect that. Honestly, I like that. He's like, I'm not a sellout. Yeah, like, I don't care that I made it. Like, you still hurt me. I, th I think <laughs> the reason I don't like Miles Teller is that he's a good actor. But I think he is like, I need to get in a Transformers movie somehow. Like, that's his number one goal. Yeah. In Hollywood. Yeah. Yeah. I also have no respect for actors who listen to podcasts. Yeah. To me, they're like freaks. Does he? Yeah, he, like he he loves uh, podcasters. He's like always taking pictures with podcasters Is and stuff. Man. It's like, no, stay in your lane. I, Go well, be a guy. Yeah. Go be a guy who is super famous and rich. And like, you're supposed to be, by the way, you're supposed to be like Nick Cage. You're supposed to be transcending to that old Hollywood archetype you, of like, you're so high and fucked up in this Hunter S. Thompson-y kind of thing. You should be throwing away all your money, buying private jets, yeah. being insane, smoking cigarettes like, in 7-Elevens and they kick you out. Be a real celebrity. You're supposed like to Rick look Torn. at podcasters or dirt. That's yeah. right. Don't pretend. We don't like, exist. You, you don't want to like act like you like look cool for knowing about some friend. You know, like it's just so annoying when you ever you find you like. Oh, this huge actor's a big Neil Hamburger fan. Oh, and you're God. like, fuck off. You don't. You, oh. You, you. I know. Oh, it makes me so upset. Like I, it's not for them. No, you're yeah. putting on a fucking putting on a, a like a hat and going to the satellite and watching DJ Doug Pound do a set like the <laughs> at a Lakers game. <laughs> Anytime I you're saw. not cool. <laughs> Go fuck models. Stop being here. Yeah, this is for losers. Yeah, fuck off, John Ham. You're not funny. <laughs> Take your big dick elsewhere. Mm -hmm. I literally saw him at, at Hot Tub one He's time. He's everywhere. I was checking the door. He, he 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 staggered in drunk and he smelled like actual shit. Yeah. He smelled like actual human shit. I feel like him and Liam Neeson are competing for who can piss their pants the most <laughs> in public. Do you think if their dicks are too big, they keep pissing themselves? <laughs> 
They're not even alcoholics. They just their dick's too big to hold the hole shut. Mm-hmm. The hole's too big. Yeah, the hole's just wide. They open. have to the It's just like it's like a beaten up whore's right. pussy. They go to. They're like, I'm gonna go piss, and then the water just poosh, and it just falls out like a bucket. I only respect dudes like Russell Crowe. Yeah, like I respect actors that Russell- take the craft to the next level and they let it ruin their life. Yeah, and become fat as shit and chain smoke cigarettes. That's the thing is you could actually ruin your life so much that it rules again. Yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, my favorite, my favorite. Th- when I knew I really loved Russell Crowe, I listened to an interview with him where he's like, "Here's what I do, mate. I'll drink a pint of tequila, and I have ice, and then I pour water in it, and that's that's how I'm fine." And he's like, he's pretending he's fine. Meanwhile, he's gained like you know. 250 pounds yeah, 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 over yeah, five yeah. years. What I do, I liquefy croissants <laughs> in a blender and I drink them with a little booze. What I do, mate, is I don't drink beer anymore. I do the little chocolate liquor bottles. That's all I tell Russell Crowe looks like he does the Baileys on the go. You know they make Baileys, the Irish coffee mixers yeah, where yeah. there's booze in it? It says on the go. There literally is like a, like in case you're running out the door. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he looks like he goes to Dunkin' Donuts and brings his own Baileys <laughs> to mix with the ice spice shake. Yeah, and he, ca- he cracks a Cadbury cream egg like it's an actual egg <laughs> and then puts it in. He's like, oh, fuck, I'm hungover. And he starts cracking eggs on a skillet. Yeah, chocolate. chocolate eggs. Yeah, he's like eating, eating chocolate oranges. <laughs> <laughs> if you, because if like if you struggle with your weight, then your life sucks. But mm-hmm. if you decide to become that guy, yeah. then it rules again. It does yeah. rule. Yeah, it's like Rocky, it's like Rocky Road. Mm-hmm. Am I right, folks? Am I right, folks? Oh, I right, say this: everybody? once you once you get to a certain age, you start realizing how short life is, and you're going to be dead soon. And you go, well, what's the difference between like dying at 55 and 72? And there's actually none. Just a lot more TV. Yeah. A lot more aimless moments. I think there's also a you thing. You should die early. Yeah. I think there's also a thing of getting like, you're, you're very successful. You have all the money in the world. You're in a long-term relationship and you're like, well, if I gain 150 pounds, my stupid wife will still fuck me occasionally. Mm-hmm. So, you know, what's really holding me here? Dude, there's no way I'm going to care about pussy by the time I'm like 50. You're going to get, you're going to get tired of pussy very, very quickly. The pussy sucks. <laughs> I, I hate it. <laughs> Pussy sucks, dude. Yeah. I hate it. Yeah. I don't like it. Your tea is plummeting, by the way. I don't like pussy anymore. I just want to like, I just want to like read Herman Melville and like <laughs> drive around in my minivan and be like, like a pedophile. <laughs> You're just thinking about. <laughs> <laughs> I went out. I went out uh, to. You convinced your wife you got the minivan for your kid, but it's because you want to get other kids. Yeah. You're, at the, you're at the car dealership. Like, so how many kids can we fit in here? You like turn to your wife. You're like, because we want more, right? This back seat fits a lot of candy. Right. You you view your baby as chum. It's bait. <laughs> like bait on a hook. Yeah, like I put on a big rope and drag her behind. <laughs> I, uh, Let him come running. Last night, uh, I went to, like, uh, uh, you guys were, like, at a bar, like, late. So I drove downtown to meet you at a bar last night. Yeah. I drove, like, 45 minutes just because my wife has been in Texas for, like, three days, and I've been on a real bender here. I've had got really good work done, but mm-hmm. I've... Oh, I Th- three nights in a row, I've done Mickey D's. I know the two times door dashed, Jesus one drive through, and I, it's been really nice. I literally knew the minute Katie left, you're going to turn into <clears throat> to the scenes from Elf where he's cooking. It's bad. Yeah, you're going to be doing spaghetti and pop tarts, dude. It's bad. Yeah, <laughs> something I, about I do the spicy McChick. They got a deal on DoorDash where you get like free spicy McChickens and like ten nuggets mm-hmm. if you order like two Big Macs. Yeah. So I'm like, well, I got to order two Big Macs and then get all that other stuff. And what's fucked up is after I eat it all, I'm still hungry. Because that's how McDonald's works. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. their whole trick. Yeah. Yeah. You've become a crack addict for McDonald's, you DoorDash basically. McDonald's. You yeah. Piece of fucking shit. <laughs> twice. It's the, it's the easiest place. Wait, twice in one day? No, 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 no. I've, I've been doing this routinely every night at like 1130 p.m. I saw mm-hmm. a mukbanger lady. I found a new lady, a mukbanger on the live streams, mm-hmm. the Limit Party Clips channel live streams. Uh, and it made me really want McDonald's. Okay. And so then I got it, and now every night I want McDonald's. Do you about eat along to the mukbangers for like companionship in your binging? Uh, yeah, I you, have. you 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 start have. you I start mean, the Nikocado video, and you're like, okay, I need 19 hamburgers. 
eight curly fries. I've been going through all of Kubrick's uh, filmography and eating McDonald's, mm, and yeah. I gotta say, watching, it's really awesome. Yeah, you're watching two thousand one pounds. <laughs> <laughs> you're watching. You're watching mouth wide open. Mm -hmm. Mm, yeah, Full Metal XXL jacket <laughs> <laughs> for fat guys. Yep. <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, so I drove like last night. I drove in the yeah. So I have a minivan. And it now. took you forever to get parked. Here, right? my, meanwhile, I've got a minivan. Yeah, because like you got too fat to fit in the old car. That was kind of part of it too. <laughs> where I'm like, I don't really fit in this car anymore. Like my ass is getting bigger. Right. And it yeah. sucks. <laughs> Like they I, measured your hips at the dealership. <laughs> they have a tailor there specifically yep. for me. They yeah. go, you're almost at Bill Parcells level. <laughs> they had to customize it like your shack. <laughs> yeah, they don't. They don't make the seat back. They make it more wider. Wider. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they tear out the passenger <laughs> seat and just fucking move it over. Me and me and Andy Reid are buying the same car. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> We're fighting over the same Toyota no, Sienna. It's, it's even sadder. You're going to the dealership where it's a picture of Andy Reid giving a thumbs up. <laughs> like at the big and tall store. Just deluring more fat people. There's something about the pictures of the big and tall store that make you want to kill yourself. Because it's just a huge fat guy who looks exactly like you giving a thumbs up. Yeah. It's brutal. They always have like a Samoan guy, a black guy, and then mm -hmm. two shitty white guys. And you look at the Samoan guy, you're like, that's, that's who I am. <laughs> I'm not the fat white guy. Guy. Yeah, I'm the I'm the big fat guy who smells good. I'm the, I'm the, I'm the fat guy who's made out of cocoa butter. Yeah, he smells like pineapples. <laughs> and he has tattoos that don't <laughs> suck. That's me. <laughs> and he could be jacked if he wanted to. No, but as you're there's totally a lady that's following you around. Mm -hmm. It's for breezing you every yeah. step you move. There's in that a lady. Store. There's a lady following you with a tranquilizer gun, <laughs> in case you start to fall. You yeah. get a diabetic coma yeah, going on. If, if Hemingway was alive today, he would hunt at DXL. <laughs> yeah, in a big like safari vest. Right, but be like a flabbergast. He'd be like, "My God, good, good, good God, man!" <laughs> We're making candles. Right. That's why he killed him. So. <laughs> It's all a really fat guy. So, yeah, so, so then I drove. I drive out, and it's like weird because I'm like meeting my friends at a bar, and it's like a really hip place. What's Art pulling City? Up, something. Pulling yeah. up in a minivan, and I pull up in a minivan. It takes me like 45 minutes to find parking, and I'm just circling. And there's like all these cholos and stuff screaming, and I'm blaring the Moby Dick audiobook. Mm. Yeah, you. So I'm listening to like Father Mapple's sermon about Jonah before they they no. go in. You the, really the listen Pequod to ship. audiobooks as you look for parking. I love listening to audiobooks on long drives. I think you're trying to get your ass beat yeah, downtown. Yeah. <laughs> so, dude, there was this. I think you're trying to get in a death wish you look situation. Like undercover but immigration. <laughs> like when they have a picture of a guy in the New York subway and he like is obviously a cop, but he's got a he's like got a radio rocket right. boombox. Yeah, he's and Jordan's like, on. He's like, I love hip hop and the Yankees. <laughs> yeah. I'm not a cop. But it's like Derek Chauvin dressed like Malibu's most wanted. <laughs> he's clearly got the gun imprint under his fucking hoodie. I'm just yeah. I'm, I'm blaring. It and at one point, I'm like turning like by the Staples Center or whatever. And I look to my left, and there's a cholo who's fucked up and he's leaned out of the car and he's looking at me like this. And I look at him and I just go, <laughs> I just start laughing. And he goes, he starts doing the Jack Nicholson gif like this, <laughs> like they're nodding his head he's from like, Arrested uh, Development. He's like, That's great prose, fool. Yeah. <laughs> he's just doing the anger management. Yeah. Fucking nod. He's like, Hey, that is that Billy Bud? <laughs> oh, it's Moby Dick. All right, well, I'm, that's kind of hack. Yeah, uh, call me, call me Ishmael. Call me. Uh, oh, it's a Mexican name. I don't know. Call me. Uh, call me uh, Edward. <laughs> <laughs> call me Edward. <laughs> <laughs> call me Ishmael. Well, the the, the famous the opening line from Moby Dick is "Call me Ishmael." Oh. Yeah. So it's call me, call Ish me Edward. Yeah. yeah, call me Ishmael. How about yeah. call me back? You made him Muslim <laughs> in the book somehow. It's Ishmael, not Ishmael. Oh, well, I'm listening to like some audio recording of a guy. They always like. I love. I find the audio book recording where it's. Uh, I either want like Charleston Heston or Charl Char Charlton. Charlton Charleston Heston, Heston. Yeah. yeah. Charleston Heston. Yeah, it's Charleston Heston, the famous dance. <laughs> the Charleston Heston. <laughs> I either want like that guy reading a book because it's always like a guy like like catching a big fish and he fucks mm -hmm. kids or something. Right. And, like you want a guy who's actually really cool to read for that voice. Or I try to find audiobooks of a guy who's clearly very, very overweight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want to hear the breathing. I want to hear the pauses. I want to hear where they clip it for intermissions for him to go shit. <laughs> you want to hear? You want to hear in a chapter? Toilet. In chapter two, he's currently chewing on something. Have you guys heard like Harold Bloom talk about books? No, I'm not. No, he's just a great big bullfrog who worked at Yale, and he apparently he was like. 
he read more books than anyone. He was one of the greatest literary uh, critics of all time. Mm -hmm. Uh, but uh, t anyway, it turns out he raped like a hundred women at Yale or something. Hell yeah. Well, you know, they, they don't do much exercise, the <laughs> writers, so they, they get it out in other ways. That's the thing. He's always like, he's always bringing out a handkerchief and pausing and like wiping the sweat from his brow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and then at the same time, then you read like apparently like a girl comes up and she's asking about like her essay about Shakespeare or whatever. And then he like, just, he just starts like, you know, filling her pussy like through the yeah. back and stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's really, you never suspect it's that guy. No, that's just, that's how easy it is to rape women actually, is that that guy can do it a hundred times. Yeah, but how... If someone's wearing like earth tones mm. and like they read Shakespeare, I just assume they don't assault women, but that actually makes perfect sense that they no. will. If you're a college professor, you're going to plow some 19 year old yeah, pussy. They're not, like, it's going to happen. Social people. Yeah. Yeah. If you wanted to fuck college girls, I guess you would become a professor, right? I mean, look at Huberman. I mean, yeah. That's what you do. Is literally you have like, you know, like fucking women are very easily impressionable. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. You fucking laugh like a Chinese guy in an opium den. I wasn't laughing. I was laughing. <laughs> yeah, you fucking. You should be a I'm just chilling. You should be the Chinese guy yeah. in True Grit who owns the store. Yeah, you, you look like you like Rooster Cogburn pays you rent. <laughs> yeah. You go, Mr. Cogburn, no, here I do podcasts today. You do a podcast into a into a Peking duck that's hanging. You use a Peking duck as a mic stand. <laughs> And you have a big Fu Manchu mm -hmm. made out of pubes. Yeah. Uh, what were you saying though? No, I'm saying women are retarded. And, you know, if you literally like if you're a 19 year old woman and you see one guy talking and then 300 people listening, you're going to want to fuck that guy. Yeah. It's the power dynamics. It's literally like tribal cavemen shit where they're like, oh, that guy's the leader. So I have to offer him my my perfect nineteen year old pussy to him because I'm and then I don't have a prefrontal cortex. But yet. guys don't want to fuck the leader of the group because we're more like lions and we want to pick off like the mm -hmm. like the one we that's straying behind that's slow, right? We don't fuck the leader. We kill the leader of yeah. the group and then we want to be. What if we see a strong group. woman? We oh, have right. a we have a very strong urge in our reptilian yeah. brain to hit her with a rock in the back of the head. There's no women leader of the group. I was never the guy that was like oh, I want to fuck the. The uh, captain of the cheerleader squad or whatever. Like the cheerleader you were, you captain. You were never that guy? Well, that girl usually like kind of sucks. You know, it's like, what do you, what do you, are you that vapid and boring that you, you want to fuck the most popular girl in school? Yeah. You kind of, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want to desecrate yeah. her. Like, yeah. <laughs> I fucking, <laughs> yeah, like I, I fucking painted her face. <laughs> that stupid bitch. <laughs> Get back out there and cheer for all the men. That's right. I just ruined your makeup in this locker yeah. room. That was like, yeah, I want to fuck her through the drywall. <laughs> I think, I think here's, I think here's, we're all sick people, but here's how you and me are sick is we don't have the confidence to want to fuck the leader of the cheer squad. That is, yeah. I never, it was never yeah. an even I a almost asked out a disabled like RJ Mitty lady in college. Which yeah. Yeah. Gone over. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so that's yeah, what it says about me. About that. Yeah, yeah. You almost stayed a crab lady for a second. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. started crawling up the wall. <laughs> She looked at you making crab from the Little Mermaid. Mm -hmm. I was like, "Hey, baby, yeah, how about me and you go somewhere? Uh, but they they got a new Chick Fil A on the north side of town. It's handicap accessible. <laughs> we say me and you go you lick Chick Fil A sauce out of those you little go, cups. What do you say? What do you say? You and I have a date at Skull Island. <laughs> I can I can be your Doctor Moreau, baby. I saw you looking all good and shit, crawling on all fours mm -hmm. up that mountain. I can turn you into a cream crab, baby. <laughs> Wait, why am I going up to her like a fucking? You go, damn, Shotty, you looking all good and shit with your with with your mollusk. Damn, you just wax those crutches. They look good. I like, when, when do you? Mm. Hey, when do you shed that shell? <laughs> Mm, I want to rub some of your goo on me, baby. Mm, some of that slime. <laughs> You're like kissing her colostomy bag in, in bed. Like you work your way up from her toes up to her colostomy bag. You're yeah. like kissing her You're poop so and her bad. pee in You're a so bag. bad at eating pussy, you're eating her colostomy bag. Wait, there's poop and pee in that or is there food in that? There can be poop, there can be pee. It's both. Yeah. So they eat their poop. Yeah, so you're. I'm saying you're going down on her, you're actually eating shit out of the bag. So that's why they... It's you like, think that's people, your problem, is you you're eating poop. You think people eat out of their colostomy bag? 
Well, I'm saying like it's where they shit and piss. No, but yeah. some people have like they don't have stomachs, so they have a bag, and I don't know if that's a colostomy that's bag. Where that's, sh- that's where they shit and piss. Yeah, that's the colostomy bag. Yeah, they but don't. Also, they don't also go like, all right, I'm hungry, and then like stab it open yeah. and start sucking. They don't go, all right, I've lost the right to eat food anymore. <laughs> I kind of thought it was like a recirculating like bird bath. Mm. You thought it was perpetual keeps, motion. Yeah. yeah. Where you just put like a like you put like a turkey sandwich in there and then it yeah. just runs forever. Yeah, you're you're eating out with him. He goes, "No, I'm good. I ate in 1987. I'm fine." <laughs> I, I want to be the first guy with a colostomy bag who still gains weight <laughs> somehow. You have to get a bigger colostomy. Yeah, my bag. bag is growing. You're the guy who doesn't change his bag. You just add another one. <laughs> so you got like nine hanging off of you, like a fur trapper. Dude, I'd kill myself. <laughs> That's so funny. Like they're beaver pelts. Yeah, they're beaver. I'm in the revenant. Yeah, you're you're the you're the guy. You're a Frenchman. Yeah. You're the guy with the dead body and true grit. Who goes up? He's like, I'll trade you four teeth for him. I'll trade you four human teeth for my colostomy I have, I have bag. Twenty bags hanging out of my gut. Uh, I practice dentistry on retarded people. Big bear fucking head on yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. If I was a guy with like Crohn's disease and I needed to have a bag. Yeah. That I like ate shit out of or whatever the hell it is. I still really don't really understand what what's going on down there. Yeah, I I couldn't do that. Yeah. I also couldn't be a guy who eats through a tube where you just you pour you hook up a he has like a matrix thing in the back of his neck and mm-hmm. they like pour Gatorade down it when he's thirsty. Yeah, what's the point? I can't do that. I, what's the point? You gotta chew. You yeah, you have to chew. Yeah. God, no. What a hell. We would all be the opposite of an inspirational story. Oh, no, yeah. Yeah, we want to be the guy like, he, you know, Edgar lost his legs and he speaks at local, you know, high schools. We'd be like, you know, Edgar lost his legs and he, you know, tried to kill a dog with a big stick, you know. <laughs> I'm guessing all the, this whole, like, this whole thing going on where, like, all these, like, 28-year-old, like, white women keep killing themselves. Like, they keep signing yeah. up for, like, being euthanized. Why? Yeah, it's like a Swedish thing or something. Like you know, they're, they're, it's becoming a real thing where like people go like I'm depressed and then they like right. sign up to die. They say like I'm neurodivergent, yeah, so I'm gonna like, kill I'm myself. Just, yeah, that's like I, I, yeah, 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 truly. Like they're like I can't stop like watching like Hassan on Twitch. I'm gonna, <laughs> I uh, put, put me in a death tank. Yeah, I'm a really hot lady, but I convince myself I have autism because I'm retarded. <laughs> so kill me. It's like an epidemic right now. Yeah, of, of the the legal suicide because you can get assisted suicide. The in assisted, Canada. it's a it's it's like all mm. these like twenty eight year old like mildly depressed people like yeah. just like signing up for suicide. And Norway, they're Which like kicks ass. Yeah, I just, I'm kind of shrugging. Good. To be honest. We I need it. If yeah. you're just a retarded twenty three year old who wants the government to kill you, I don't. Yeah. I mean, where, where are you going to turn that ship around? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, oh. best case, you're going to be a, like a mindless thing that pops out kids. It's one of those things. Where it's like, oh my god, we're missing out on so many false accusations. <laughs> Ah, uh, you could have ruined the TV industry. Even oh more. no! What will Babe.net do now without you accusing somebody uh, of something they lose, didn't do? We're losing women who hate fun. <laughs> Damn it! So it's like it's actually working. We're convincing young women to kill themselves. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's just like women, good work, guys. It's out just there. women that like Gavin McGinnis is like. Damn it! I would have had a long <laughs> argument with them online. But who's gonna yell at Ben Shapiro? <laughs> Yeah, I'm getting. I, I was getting pretty pissed at the uh, the hot the fake neurodivergent ladies. Mm-hmm. I keep seeing it on TikTok where it'll like scroll and it'll be like a lady with like fucking D cups and like the most beautiful face. Be like, here's some tips for my time related autism girlies, and they're like, j- they say they're late because they have autism related to reading clocks and shit like that. You know how I watch your videos? I watch your videos like this. <laughs> I go just cover the top half of the screen and we're good and turn it all the way down. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Just the bottom half and the top. Half. Connect the AirPods and then take those babies out. <laughs> Put them way the fuck over there. And then just cover that shit. You you connect to your AirPods at night so you can jack off to porn without getting caught. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My wife's like, why are you staring into the closet? Yeah. I'm like, I don't know. Fuck you. Just deciding what I want to wear for tomorrow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're wearing AirPods to bed that are playing pornography. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, she's like, all right, good night. You're like, huh? What's that? So I'm listening to Moby Dick. I was listening to Moby Dick. <laughs> and as you take the AirPod out, you just hear, oh, my fucking wet pussy. 
Okay. Like, I'm, yeah. like Unless, I love this part. Oh, uh, this is the part where the Moby Dick has a really wet pussy and they mm-hmm. fuck it. Yeah, Ahab's leg is it's wooden and it goes in and out of Ishmael's asshole. Mm-hmm. And he's a Chinese lady. <laughs> right. I love your black cock <laughs> and my white pussy. I'm like, that's the white whale. He has a black cock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he fucks the Pequod so, ship. <laughs> so you, you know narwhals? <laughs> They're a white whale and they have black cocks on them. That's how they narwhals exist. You fall asleep with the sounds of a ball sack. <laughs> Hitting an ass throughout the night. Bart Simpson is like is is like looking out at a rainy out out of out of a rainy window. It's a, it's a beat tape. Yeah, yeah the lo fi lo fi to yeah. study to lo fi balls hitting yeah. ass to study to yeah, lo fi lo fi gooning material to goon slash bait to. My wife just texted me. Why have you only been door dashing food? Yeah, she just checked the door dash app. Mm-hmm. Damn, I got a little nuts. Damn, you got to block her right now because she's gone. You literally don't know how to get food. Yeah, during the day I'm healthy. I get Indian. And then at night, yeah, I go a little good. crazy. Your, your wife checks the ring camera footage, yeah. and it's just different Mexican guys bringing <laughs> yeah. sacks up to the door. <laughs> that is like, Mr. Avery, we, we, we have your nap. We have a bag of naps. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Avery, is my third time here today. Mr. Avery, you ordered the chicken tikka five-hour nap? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I got to... I got to get on a plane at 3 a.m. after this. You're just going to stay up all night, dude. No. Yeah. What, are you going to go to bed tonight? I, I got to meet. Wake I, up at 2? I got to meet my, that? my wife's whole family. They're flying in for this eclipse in Dallas oh, tomorrow. Oh, who I gotta gives meet everybody. a shit? Who give, they're all going to be terrified. They're going to think everyone's black. <laughs> By the way, you they're going to think it's Armageddon. <laughs> they're going to think it's the end times from the Bible. <laughs> they're going to start trying to kill people. And these are killing everybody yeah. in a Bucky's. Yeah, they still they see a gardener and they're like, oh, the locusts from Revelation. <laughs> the big locusts. I think, uh, fuck. Yeah, I, dude, I can't be. Th- you should not invite me to the eclipse. I'm going to look at it. Yeah. I always yeah. look at it every time it happens. Well, you can, you yeah. can it look hurts. At, you can look at this one because it's a total eclipse. You're getting 100% eclipse. I don't know about that, man. Yeah. Well, we got like glasses for my baby, so my baby could look at it. Yeah, you just you just holding her up. <laughs> no, no yeah. glasses as her eyes burn. <laughs> like it's a you're like, yeah, no. you're like, look at it. <laughs> just start shitting herself. If you shake your baby during an eclipse, it makes it Hitler. <laughs> That's how Hitler was made. <laughs> Someone shook him there, so <laughs> and an ancient evil entered. Right, into yeah. Yeah, yeah. A, a, a god from the year 6000 BC, an ancient god arose from the desert, it, it thawed from a hellish ice. <laughs> Yeah, and inhabited Hitler. Honestly, I want to. Even if my baby grew up to be like a like a Stephen Paddock or like a dictator, or like a fat, like a, I wouldn't even give a shit. I'd actually be proud. Yeah, it would rule you on the news after your kid does a mass shooting. You're like, I don't. Care. Who gives a fuck? I'm like, what have <laughs> you? I'm like, what have you done with your life? Yeah, you, are you gonna judge me? Your kid will fucking shoot somebody soon. Hey, I go, hey, man, as long as it's not hurting anybody, who cares? <laughs> as long as it's not hurting anybody. Like, the, like, the, like, the death count is 85 yeah, they, people. They, they, she killed 85 toddlers. You're like, I gives a shit. Wait, did she do a school shooting in preschool? Yes. <laughs> She's three? Yes. She's three and she walked in like RoboCop. She walked in like Terminator. <laughs> She walked in like, oh like <laughs> three years old, and she's like Terminator in the police station, just and then blowing a guy's knee out, <laughs> walking down the hall. Oh god! The first school shooter who crawled into the school. <laughs> Kills the teacher, kills yeah. the principal, kills she's, everybody. She's getting around the school by like fucking shooting the gun and it's blowing her backwards. Yeah, and they still criticize the police for how they handled the situation. Yeah. None they of were, them they, ran were, they were terrified. Yeah, the police are, <laughs> None of them ran in. Yeah, the yeah. police are looking around the corner and they just see a baby next to a gun and they go, oh, fuck. She has a necklace of her victim's <laughs> teeth. They're like, it's a macaroni necklace. Dude, you see cops, you're like, a three-year-old could outrun you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're, like, chasing a she three-year-old She somehow, child. like, makes, a, like, a gun out of a blown-up, like, doctor's glove. <laughs> like a macaroni necklace yeah. gun? a turkey. Yeah, yeah. That's how she practices shooting on little fucking turkey hands <laughs> that she drew with the black. I hope America does get to that point. It's just, like, preschoolers you hope, are You sh- hope yeah. America gets <laughs> yeah. to that point. So, the, so people will... This so, might be the Patriot. So that, so no, that damn Republicans no. will finally wake up. So those damn Republicans... Those damn right-wingers finally come to their senses. Yeah. You're damn right. You're damn right. God. 
Um, yeah, I want America to get to the point where a baby does a school shooting coming. <laughs> <laughs> I want a baby to do a shooting coming out of its mom pussy. Like the doctor's got his head down, and then you just see uh, you see the barrel of a gun. Come out of he's the like, pussy. He's like, oh, I think I see the head, and then you just see the barrel of the fucking nine millimeter. Yeah, I think I see the I think I see the iron sights. Oh yeah, it's a it's a Mose in the gun. All right, no bay in that. All right, it's coming out. <laughs> And she has a, uh, she has a got, cock. Uh, she's got the safety on. Sorry. Stupid. You're yeah, sorry, you, you, your daughter's a liberal. <laughs> your daughter's a damn lib. Does that, you want us to make her trans real quick for you? You want us to put her in the microwave? We'll give her trans <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're doing the shots for your daughter. You want us to give her the one that makes her trans real quick? That's what they do in Canada, probably, is just like, mm -hmm. like you want like how do you want to kill your baby? Yeah, Justin Trudeau. We got like nine different Every time a baby's born in Canada, Justin Trudeau walks in in blackface and he's like, Hey, I'm here to give the shot that makes your baby trans. <laughs> And he's dressed like fucking Jafar. He goes, hello, I'm here to give this shot to make him trend. Is this bad? I don't know. It almost made me piss myself. I might have to go pee because that fucking room is killing me. Go what, piss, girl. What do conspiracy theorists say about the dollar because there's like a pyramid on it? Is that the Illuminati? Like people are like, look, and they're like, that's why Jay-Z. Yeah. People, yeah. Runs people the think they're a national treasure at the supermarket. That's how retarded Americans are. <laughs> they think they're reading ben, Benjamin Franklin's will at fucking 7-Eleven. But it's it's coupons. Yeah. yeah. They're like literally holding the coupon up to the light. They're like... Frito lays behind this. <laughs> we have to kill the president. You know what I've been listening to a lot in my minivan, also besides Moby Dick, gay pornography. Mm -hmm. I've been listening? watching gay pornography. I've been watching. You get between the my knees. You get the Cybertruck to watch gay porn <laughs> on your fucking. Yeah, I don't drive it on the fucking forty-eight inch TV mm -hmm. they give you. It has zero miles. <laughs> I've had, I had it delivered to my garage. I've never. I only turn it on to watch gay porn. You're, you're tweeting at Elon Musk, Mr. Musk. The audio quality for my gay pornography is lackluster at best. You, you sir, have have won the internet. You sir have lost the internet today. No gold for you, kind stranger. I can has cheeseburger. I can has cheeseburger and gay pornography. Just a guy who just. Uh, well, um, I was going to say, uh, what were what we talking about? We were talking about school shooting. Preschoolers doing school shooting. The eclipse. Uh, eclipse uh, Flying. No, no, no. Just like right before this, we were talking about something. About fucking what? You do cyber, uh, gay porn. Gay pornography. Watching Eating. It. No, literally right before you said the cyber truck thing. I said I was going to say something. Oh, uh, uh, fucking God damn it. Baby school shooting, baby no, being born I shooting. Oh, Justin Trudeau makes you trans? Yeah, I don't know. Something like that. Yeah, I got nothing, man. Something about conspiracies, I forget. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, oh, oh I know what I was going to say. Okay. What I've been listening to a lot. Sure. I remembered. What? Because I was going to say what I've been gay listening to a lot. Besides, you, you say gay <laughs> pornography. Now let's get back on track here. Let's stay focused. <laughs> Good, thank God someone's steering the ship. Yeah, I know. I tell you, the inmates are running the asylum. Speaking of, man, steering the ship, maybe my life is kind of like Moby Dick. Mm. I'm Captain Ahab. Right. You're just chasing a big fat guy. And you guys are the ones beating the whales. Yeah. Uh, you, like, uh, you're Queequeg. You're, you're Ishmael. Your whale is airsoft fatty. <laughs> it actually makes sense because Ishmael is the super ego, and then Queequeg is the id. I don't know your gay shit. I don't, I don't know, know what that I don't know means. What you're talking about retard. Stop yeah. reading. Stop reading <laughs> shit. So you just scroll. You should know I've more. Been, uh, you should know. You should read less, and you should watch more Sopranos video how, essays on YouTube. How about this? I've been listening to a lot of Jay Z recently. Oh, okay. Man. That's the most the racist. Four, four, four album. The most racist really? thing you can do mm -hmm. is get into it's Jay Z. Really bad. And you're yeah. just like his mom was a dyke. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No, I've been listening to that story of OJ song a lot because I really like it. <laughs> <laughs> and I listen to it in the minivan. It makes mm. me laugh really hard that I'm driving around blaring it. Uh -huh. And I say all the words. Yeah. 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 I say all of them. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. It Jeez. is awesome. It's so really cool. Yeah. You, you, I remember when the story of OJ came out, you acted like Keith Olbermann during the Eminem <laughs> Trump rap. <laughs> You're like, after 20 years, I finally like hip hop. I, uh, I don't know. How did Jay-Z get a, a, a away with that line where he goes, you, you want to know how Jewish people own all the property in America? This is how they did it. Credit. 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 Or yeah. no, no, I think credit is the strip club line oh. where he goes, you know what's more important than uh, blowing all your money in a strip club? Credit. Something like mm -hmm. that. 
And this is how they did it. How did he get away with it? No, no, he said he has a line where he goes, you want to know how Jewish people own all the property in America? This is how they did it. And then he just starts rap. He doesn't explain it, but that is a line in the song. He got away with it because everyone's like, yeah, black people hate Jews. Yeah, yeah. No, it's... uh, See, then, but why did Kanye not get away with it then? Everybody took the axe down and then Jay-Z. It wasn't wasn't as, you know, it was, he was just like, I love Hitler. Yeah. He didn't like have a It wasn't really subtle, yeah. Subtle, yeah. He's a real sledgehammer type of guy. So people, you're saying people are more tolerating, they tolerate hate but they don't tolerate love so if Hitler goes I, so if Kanye, Kanye goes I love Hitler people go that's bad we don't love things in society mm-hmm. and then if Jay Z goes I hate Jews people go that's better Wow, because it's all about hate. I see. Because hate is how you. It, you I just picture you know Kanye with a gun to your head as you pass the bar exam <laughs> and he's like you're my, you're my new guy you know what I was picturing I was picturing Ben as Robert Mitchum in Night of the Hunter and he's like, if you love Jews with the left hand, but if you hate Hitler with the right <laughs> hand. It makes sense, though, because as a as a damn society. Sure. Yeah, break it down. As a damn Bring society, it home. we tolerate, like, we are not accepting of love. They kill anybody that, like, tried to spread love. Mm-hmm. Martin Luther King, John Lennon, yeah. Patrice O'Neill. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, John Ritter. Mm-hmm. You're, you conf- Everybody that had a message of <laughs> yeah, love and peace. You're yeah. confusing Patrice and Malcolm X. <laughs> when they kill Brother Patrice. Mm-hmm. When they kill John Legend. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Bob Saget. <laughs> Bob Saget. John Madden. <laughs> John they they shot John Madden in the streets mm-hmm. because he because he because he's had a message of love. We didn't land on Xbox 360. <laughs> Xbox 360 landing on us. <laughs> Tough acting, ten acting. <laughs> this doesn't make sense yeah, it makes anymore. No sense this anymore. Makes no I'm sense. sweating a lot. I'm in the Stuff Island hat that Stuff Island sent to me. God bless yeah, Stuff yeah. Island. I, I love Tommy and Chris so much. It's yeah, they're very good. I'm sure they're going to be glad their merch is in this episode specifically. <laughs> no, but their hats are very nice. I, I'd say go check it out online. The hoodie's amazing. They have great merch. Yeah. Speaking of the falling asleep, I've been, I keep uh, ac- I've been doing something not quite as says gay porn, but I've been I keep falling asleep uh, in my bed with uh, Sopranos uh, YouTube videos playing in my AirPods. I've done that like three nights in a row. I think I gave myself an ear infection a little bit. That's nice. Just clips on YouTube. No, Sopranos? just like literally a guy breaking down. He's like, here's what here's how Patsy was the guy who whacked Tony. <laughs> OK, yeah, you, you can't listen to Italians talk too much. It's going to no. give you an ear infection. <laughs> There's too much butter in their words. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's gonna curdle in there. They're too fat and you rot. Wake, you wake yeah. up quarantined in Ellis Island, <laughs> 1930. Yeah, I wake up. I just start slowly talking like Tony, yeah. just eating meat out of the fridge. My bare hands. Ben, this is becoming. I can't believe there's no nicotine in that, and you, you just keep doing it. It's the gayest thing I've ever done. It's I'm wearing also, a vape with no nicotine it's around I'm, your neck, like you like run a camp. Yeah. Like you go, like you take kids out to the woods and you show them how to vape. Well, it's like a it's like a whistle, like, I'm like Coach Harbaugh or something. Yeah. What's the guy's name? You're the like 49ers Jerry, coach? You're like Jerry Sandusky, but everybody knew immediately. Ugh. Yeah. I hate looking at it. Yeah. No. It really sucks. It does. And also from afar, it looks like I'm wearing jewelry, like a big medallion it of looks, some sort. Yeah, it looks yeah. like a chain. Mm-hmm. It does look like you're carrying around CP on a hard drive. Yeah. <laughs> On a necklace. That's what I would think if I didn't know you. That's I'm also like, a vape. I'm like, okay, that's CP. That's also a vape. Yeah. Just on your personage. It's crazy people think they can still get away with that, by the way. CP? Having CP? Yeah. When you find out a guy has like, you know, where you, the the amount of CP he has, it would take him like, it's like the theme. It's like the parks at Disney. Yeah. Like you if you spent your entire life, you couldn't ride them all. It's like, dude, why are you yeah. biting, biting off this this piece you can't chew here? Yeah, it's has, way too much. He has the library of Babel of <laughs> CP. It is crazy, you know. It's like just stream it. <laughs> why do they it's download? No need it? to download. These cra- oh, it's probably dot onion leaks, so they have to download it. I don't it. know what that means. What are you talking about now? Yeah, onion is a you got to go on tour. You're to- a pedophile. <laughs> You're a goddamn pedophile. I'm not a pedophile. I've watched documentaries. I know things. I've talked to people. I've interviewed pedophiles before. I've come into contact with pedophiles. It is a, you know what's a weird thing I think about sometimes? It is, is 3%. Sex with children. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, uh, it's so weird because 3% of the popular, like 3% of the comments on this video are from guys who are pedophiles. It's way higher than that. Eh, I don't know about that. 
You think it's lower than three or higher? Statistically, everybody, Joe Rogan's podcast, three percent of the people commenting that is are true. pedophiles. That is true. Yeah. The economy is run off of like pedophilia now. Yeah. Like that. Well, is, no, that's that's a real says that three percent of all people, people are, are pedophiles. Are pedophiles. They're at least mm-hmm. attracted to children if they don't act on their urge, which is a pederast. Pederast? No, just pederast is another word for pedophile. Mm. Pederast. But, but how many of those are like they like want to fuck a seventeen year old that's like stacked? Is that, like a, <laughs> <laughs> is that like a pedophile too, or is that just like a scumbag? Yeah, is that a is that a Seinfeld situation? I never know like the scumbag versus the kids. You have to be like a kid, kid. Yeah, but they, what, have, they but have to like be watching Blues Clues. I think in some a, states it's like sixteen though. So like you can some fight. states it is sixteen, but in some yeah. states sixteen that's a kid. It's all it's it's still a kid. Even what, eighteen is like on. a little weird. What do you think it should be? I think it should be uh, I don't know, like thirteen. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean uh, I think it should be. I think sex should be outlawed. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> it's just it's ruining everybody and everything until no you're like sex. until you're like fifty. Yeah, sex it's is just outlawed. it's just insane. It's just all everybody is apparently like running gigantic human trafficking rings. Everybody, yeah. we That's, should we should ban it for at least like ten years or something. Dude, my whole life trafficking was such a big word, and now it's associated with like all mm-hmm. like almost every famous person mm-hmm. is involved in trafficking. Yeah, did they change the rules of what trafficking <laughs> is? Trafficking to me used to be like fucking literally like a Steven Soderbergh movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. About a of an underworld. It used to be like Russian women on shipping crates literally, in like, the port of Houston. Like women in crates. Yeah. And now it's like I don't know, like you what you just like like talked up a dumb bitch and you're a human <laughs> trafficker now. I don't know what it means anymore. I do love the people who get trafficked who are American citizens. They get sex trafficked in right, America. Yeah, you got trafficked from Houston to Dallas. <laughs> yeah, you're like, well, now I'm in Cincinnati. Cincinnati get my pussy bust open. <laughs> you get traffic to the M&M store. Yeah, across town. <laughs> yeah, they ship me from East Boston to West Boston, and they are tearing my pussy up. I guess you could get traffic to across a big house. Yeah, that's true. From like the West Wing to the East Wing. Yeah, a big mansion. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. That's traffic in my book. Yeah. No, but it is crazy. Yeah, like everybody, your, your neighbor's doing like sex trafficking now. You know, and but, we 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 go after all those people to distract from the fact that the people running the country are human traffickers mm-hmm. and celebrities. But they, you know, you know, the highest sex trafficking per capita is Washington D.C. Of course, yeah, they, of course. And that's and we sold that show out real quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, we didn't. There's still tickets for it. There's still There's tickets, still tickets available. Forget them unless Philly, you're a pedophile Boston. sex trafficker. It's DC, or come. But it's like it's like DC so funny. Like they're like they act like all sophisticated and shit. And they're like a big city, but like everyone lives in Virginia. Yeah. They're just like city hillbillies. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm. fuck them. In the actual city, it's either Joe Biden or a guy smoking crack cocaine. Mm. That's the entire city of D.C. Or both. Or hey, <laughs> or Hunter Biden. We got him. Uh, yeah, come to those shows, livingparty.live, D.C., Boston, Philly, New York, I, if they're not sold out. Dude, what if Hunter Biden came to the show? What if he was a fan? I could see him being a fan of the show. That would kick ass. Mm-hmm. And he pulled his big cock out and we all fucked him. See, this is the, but the problem is, is everybody's like, I feel like perverts get lumped in with like human trafficking where like you look into a story, they go like, oh, R. Kelly is a human trafficker. And then like you read the article and you're like, I think he just like peed in, in a lady's mouth. And like he made like ladies drink nah, his pee. He, he did yeah. some, uh, there's yeah, a lot yeah. more came out. They were, they were like 12 years old. Well, I kind of skimmed the article. Right. Well, that was the famous one, the pee. <laughs> He peed on a kid. That was from like 2002. Yeah, that, that was back out. when we were like, man, this is, you know. We were like, it's yes. funny. <laughs> that's what they do. Right. You know, that's rappers. <laughs> hey, that's hip hop, baby. That's hip hop. That's then, R&B. Yeah, but then it came out, he was keeping them like, you know, trapped in an air vent in his mansion for like years. Yeah, then, yeah, then we all found out like he had like a job as like a crosswalk attendant <laughs> at like a school. And he was just throwing it in the van. Yeah. Have you seen the clip of him doing that concert in Nigeria, I think, by the way, Ben? No. He's literally on He's on stage. Have you seen this clip? He's on stage in Africa. Whoa. What the, the hell? hell? It's Who the, the FBI. F- <laughs> the hell's calling me? <laughs> Who is it? It says incoming call. Hold on. Let me see here. This is DoorDash. Oh. They're shutting down your account. The headphones off. Hello? It's just dead. Hmm. hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, fuck. You're going to die in seven days. 
Yeah. Interesting. Anyway. You called this number on a dead guy's phone. Okay. This guy's been door dashing all day. No, I'm just kidding. That was mom. Dad died. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we got to wrap this up. We got to wrap it up. She was crying a lot. <laughs> that sucks, dude, that he finally got what he wanted. <laughs> yeah, right before yeah. the eclipse, too. Damn. Yeah. He got a, he got a, he made a bunch of cows run him over. <laughs> he made himself a stampeded in like the Lion King sort of way where he fell off a cliff. Yeah, he quartered himself with cows <laughs> yeah. instead of horses. Dude, I'd hate to get, I, I wouldn't mind getting trampled by a bunch of like horses, like wild steeds. Mm -hmm. But damn, dude, if I got trampled by like a bunch of pigs... I couldn't yeah, live that like down. Yeah, like you're at Astro World, <laughs> and you. <f> <laughs> you got imagine being trampled. A bunch of fat cholos. Imagine being trampled. The last thing you hear is Travis Scott using <laughs> Auto Tune. As a bunch of fat chongas. As you're just being the destroyed the by people that have wings on their '98 Honda Accord. I know, literally. <laughs> Getting trampled while people are spilling Sprite on you as you get pounded into dust. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah. I'm asking Katie if she called to make sure everything's okay. Yeah, what is going on? I don't know. It's just fucking so Your like, life is, is really. Some, man, I need to. Dude, it's like, get you, off my ass. I got to create. Now, yeah, I got to create a, another door. To, I got to have two dash passes and charge it on a card she doesn't know about. Because yeah. mm -hmm. I have a dash pass on this one, and that's why we share it, because then I save yeah. so much money on mm -hmm. getting food delivered. Yeah. Yeah. You got it's, a lot. Now you got I got to make it. Go. Now I need to get another dash pass. You're going to have to. You're going to start. What you're going to do is you're going to get a secret trash can she doesn't know about. <laughs> you're going to keep it on the side of the house. That's I'm gonna the, watch heavyweights like it's game tape. Yeah, I'm like, so you can put Jolly Ranchers in the bedpost. You're gonna, yeah, you're, nice. gonna, you're gonna be taping Twizzlers to your body, <laughs> like it's Wolf of Wall Street. You're trying yeah. to get them to Zurich. I have like a suicide vest of salami, <laughs> <laughs> like taped to myself. Yeah, Eighteen sticks around you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're just eating off your body. Uh, Patreon.com/slash Lemon Party. Do you guys want to go to McDonald's? No. Not really. You no, guys want to go to KFC? There's also no. a Louisiana fried chicken over here that's so good. No. And it looks like the fried chicken that the whale eats, and it's awesome. I ate a bunch of tacos. And, I was at a barbecue. And they they have the the soda fountain machine where it's kind of fucked up, where the Pepsi's slightly too sweet, but it mm -hmm. kicks ass once right. the ice melts a little bit and cuts it. Yeah. They go, they yeah. go we do that just for Ben. <laughs> <laughs> just for Ben. We, we turn a screw a little bit more than we should. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, patreon.com slash lemon party for the bonus episodes. Um, uh, da, 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 I'm trying to think. Live shows, lemonparty.life. Devin at Hate Watch Pod. Jace has had drawings by Jace. Subscribe to the Lemon Party Clips channel for live streams. Subscribe to us on Twitter. Uh, uh, at Devin James Costa on everything. I think. Yeah, who gives a shit? Whatever. Yeah, who cares? They know who, who he is. Listen. Fucking gives a shit yeah. at this point. You know, you should. <laughs> So who cares about promotion? How about you follow Jesus Christ and you stop following us? Yeah. How about you go read the great Gnostic texts and read the Christ's real message? It is of funny, love and peace. You're supposed to like say who you are at the end of a podcast because people are so retarded. They're like, "Those were people speaking." <laughs> What was that? I've got emails where people are like, I've listened to 50 episodes of the podcast. And they, they go, what's, and they your, go, what's your name? They go, is that one guy your brother? They go, show yourself. And who's the other guy? Yeah. No, our, most, most of our fans are like like Alzheimer's grandpas. <laughs> and they like get sundowning yeah. me while watching the like, podcast. They go like. <laughs> They're midway through an episode. They go, who are these people? <laughs> I listen to the podcast on YouTube. You guys should get video. Yeah. No, I told They're you. Blind. Yeah, I told you. <laughs> we were reading comments under a, a Bert Kreischer tweet of people defending Bert sucking ass, and I was yeah. I literally got the image of like th these people would be in a slaughterhouse complaining about the line not moving. They're like, "What's he doing? He's giving some young people the time of their fucking life." Yeah, yeah. You guys hate on Bert Kreischer, but like you're you just jealous of how actually cool he is, and he can do something like that. Yeah. And I was like, huh, read in the comments below this, and I see that there's millions of people who are just plain haters. Everyone's mm -hmm. a hater. By the way, does anyone have a liver? <laughs> I'm, I'll be dead in a week. Yeah. Somebody needs to step up. <laughs> Can somebody step up for me? Yeah. <laughs> Everybody hates on Bert, but honestly, he's just living his life. He's living his life. Anyway, I'm going to go in this big chute with a bunch of other cows, and I'm going to get a big bolt oh, put in my head. A guy that lives in the a guy that lives in the big shoe from that nursery rhyme yeah, that yeah. the old lady lives in. 
<laughs> he lives in a big Air Force yeah. One. A guy that smells like a shit. guy who has a day job as cattle. Yeah, he's getting killed in a yeah. in a kill farm. Factory farmed humans. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, hey, what's up? My I've been working as cattle for like two years. They're gonna <laughs> kill me today. I'm not gonna lie. like. I don't. I don't even hate Bert. Right. Like, sure. I think he's I think he's fine and like yeah. I, I've met him in person. He's a he's a, he's a he's a nice guy, right, or whatever. Yeah. But I do get depressed every time I see a video of him walking on stage and there's like four million people where I'm like mm -hmm. that can't, but that there has to be like I kinda, there has to be like standards kinda, to this, my, right? My views sense. of Yeah. That's, huh? the, that's the country. Yeah. That's the country. He like plays like like a fucking arena. Like the whole like state shows up for these shows. It's insane. Yeah, it's yeah. like Dune. They're all just like, give us water, <laughs> please. It's Baron Arconan. He's just in a vat of fudge, yeah. just like sucking his own tits. Yeah, they're like Lisa on all retard. <laughs> yeah, no, it's kind of like it's, I feel the same way about like George W. Bush. Where I'm like, he seems like a cool guy, but he is responsible for evil on this earth. Yeah. You know, it's the same for Bert. Bird's responsible. I genuinely for think evil. I genuinely think Bird is like an evil force. Why on this are you planet. you're comparing him to a war criminal? He's a I think, war criminal. I think Bird is as bad as George W. Bush. Yeah. I think he's as bad as the war on terror. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Bert Kreischer. Shout out, Bert. Anyway, Shout out, we're Bert going on Kreischer. tour with Bert Kreischer. We're gonna start doing stand up mm -hmm. and we're gonna open for him by uh we're gonna wear big hats and on the hats it says weed. And we yeah. go out and we go we go, oh, how's it going, Toledo? Mm -hmm. hey, who's out here? Who's drinking tonight? Yeah. Guys, get Bert Kreischer's backstage. Let it, let's scream real loud so he lets them know you're excited. Let him hear it, guys. Yeah. yeah. All right, yeah. everybody, we got loaded guns underneath these seats. Everybody pull out the loaded gun. All right, murder, suicide, your family. Yeah. One, two, three. All right, yeah, you all missed. Turn the safe. Turn the safety off. Okay, come on, one more time. We put a lot of bullets on the guns. We, there's some spare clips too. Keep trying to kill right. each other. Yeah. I Who's know your fingers are too fat to pull the trigger. Keep trying. Who's here drunk tonight? <laughs> Who's here? His kids are dying in the parking lot in their cars. <laughs> yeah. Who here is on, is on the most wanted list at CPS? Who who here has a seeing eye dog because they're too fat to walk? <laughs> <laughs> they have to go for the school right. for the blind because yeah. they're too fat. Who got so fat they're blind now? <laughs> <laughs> they got blind from diabetes. <laughs> but you guys with milky white eyes and fucking <laughs> fucking flapper hats that have the California flag on it. <laughs> Go. <laughs> you know what that is? Burt's fans are dudes who have the California flag on a flat brim hat. Yes, those yes. are his fans. The they're, they're guys, they don't even live in California. The guys who are on a Chevron yeah. extra mile and they see the hats and they go, "Oh fuck!" Yeah, and they buy like three of the hats. Yeah, and they take them home. Anyway. <laughs> He's awesome. <laughs> anyway, he rules. And we're opening for him now. Yeah. I I'm just going to start telling people I'm doing stand-up, by the way, and I'm going to name Go fake ahead. people I'm opening for. Oh, yeah. Deb Johnson and uh, Willie O'Neill. Yeah. Blind Lemon Jefferson. Patricia Patricia Jefferson. Dude, I did a... Did you guys know I, I was at the Mothership the other night, and I did a... Uh, Chappelle brought me on stage. I mm -hmm. heard about this. Yeah, you opened for Miss Fat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just making up comics. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you mm -hmm. guys could make up new Kill Tony regulars that have a million followers, and I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. If you guys were like, oh, you haven't seen Treehouse Johnson? He's, you know, he goes on stage and he blows one of his toes off with a gun. <laughs> He's very famous now. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, we should get you some Louisiana fried chicken before you. Are you hungry, Ben? Well, I've only ate. He told me if this order's bad. Okay. Two orders garlic naan, one order butter chicken. Yeah, that's it. Spicy. Yeah, fuck. It. But I didn't eat until two. <laughs> what, <you> intermittent fasting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What yeah. I do is I, I eat in an eight hour window, but I eat like 9,000 mm. calories. Yeah. yeah. So it's the same. Your eight hour window is, it has a bunch of pies cooling on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, yeah, I thought it's the eight window system. I have eight windows in my home with yeah. pies cooling yeah, on there's them. There's an eight-hour window where there's a big pie, and then I float to it <laughs> on the smell of it. And then I eat it. I have eight grandmas in my house baking pies. <laughs> it's the eight window yeah, intermittent I, fasting. I cracked myself up with that one. No, that's that a good one. <laughs> that's a good one. 
So you, uh, you had Indian food at 2 p.m. today. Yeah. yeah. And that like gave me like a pep in my step because it's spicy. Mm. Right. Yeah. That's like a, that's a Celsius for you. Uh-huh. It's a full bowl of Indian no, food. No, I'm the guy like by myself. I'm doing like the hot, the really hot, hot wings challenge mm-hmm. at 1 p.m. Like can on I, my lunch break. I'm like, all right, you, let's do 12 atomic. Let's it, see if we can do it in five minutes. If you, and I'm not kidding, if you can't get this binge eating under control, I'm going to get on a massive amount of steroids. I'm going to spend 60000 a year to hire a guy to get me in really good shape. And I'm going to flip flop on you. And I'm going to be a real <laughs> dick about it. I'll well, be real mean well, about the, it. You know what I'll do? Then I'll grow a beard and I'll just gaslight people into thinking you're me and I'm you. <laughs> How about that? Yeah, that'd be pretty good. Yeah. You're going to become a problem in like a year. Not mm-hmm. if I put nic- if I put nicotine in this, it's game over for both of you. Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. I'll be like on another level. I'll mm-hmm. be all nootropic out. I'm going to look like, if I put nicotine in this, in two weeks, I'll look like Andrew Huberman. I'll walk around like Bowser at the end of Super Mario 64. No. You're going to yeah. be spraying, you're going to be spraying Nick salt on pie and eating yeah. it. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. Big article comes about how you're cheating on restaurants. <laughs> 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 You're seeing six waiters at once. <laughs> All right. <coughs> I'm cheating on seven diets at once. Mm-hmm. 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 Um, but anyway, that's uh, the episode. Head over to the Patreon do- if you want more, patreon.com slash lemon party, and we'll see you guys next week. Town of El Paso, I fell in love with a Mexican girl. Nighttime would find me in Rose's Cantina, music would play and Polina would whirl. Blacker than night were the eyes of Polina, wicked and evil while casting a spell. My love was deep for this Mexican way I was in love but in vain